Growing up in Roselle, we lived on top of the fruit shop. Mum and Dad would be working, us four kids would just be upstairs wreaking havoc. We were the fruit shop kids. I've always kept items and photos, things. <laughs> <laughs> like many people, I have memories that weren't captured. So this entire process of capturing my mind and my memories, it's it's wild. Today we are really part of a cutting edge experiment. Oh, yeah. Okay, be fine. okay, I trust you. Yeah. <laughs> we collected roughly 2,000 samples of brain activity while Nicole was seeing and imagining images. We feed those inputs into a machine learning algorithm to learn how to connect the brain activity to the images. We scan Nicole as she imagined reflecting her core past personal memories and ultimately output a visual reconstruction of what was being seen or imagined. In doing so, the model output is an image that's not meant to just be a one-to-one -one copy of the image that was being seen or imagined. It is something that reflects her past history, her memories, her emotions. So the outputs are more meaningful, I think. I'm really, really excited. I don't really know what to expect. This is the first postcard mum sent me when I moved to New York. This is my dad's chain. He wore it every single day for 40 years. This is Monty. She was our first family dog and she drove us crazy. <laughs> oh, that was interesting. Uh, I can't wait to see how they recreate my memories at the gallery. I'm honestly just <laughs> taking it all in. Oh, that's my dad. I did not expect to feel emotional. To anyone else, this is just a photo of someone's shoulder in a chain. But to me, it's my dad. All of them make up the fabric of me. I can't wait for my sister to see this. This is literally cutting edge mind reading research. And it's also the first time that this technology has been used for reconstructing someone's personal memories and it's heartwarming to see how it all came together. I'm so overwhelmed but honored to have this. 